Okay. Okay. Welcome to the Not So Legal Show. We have the wonderful Amber J. Lawson, who I consider personally to be the expert of all things digital. So thank you for coming on the show today. It's exciting to have you. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. So let's talk about your company, Comedy Gives Back. Let everybody know a little bit about what that is and where they can check it out to start. Sure. So Comedy Gives Back is a 24-hour live stream global comedy event that raises money for charity. And um, you can check it out at uh, ComedyGivesBack.com or on our YouTube channel or on Twitter. Um, but what it is is really uniting traditional stand-up comedians and comedic talent with online uh, comedy celebrities So uh, to do good. So it's a 24-hour digital telethon, kind of the new wave oh, wow. of how to raise money for uh, good causes. And, and how is it? So sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I was just going to say it's kind of a new paradigm of, of like business models because we are a social benefit enterprise, meaning that we are a for-profit company that chooses to give 50% of its profits to charity. Okay. And what was the inspiration for starting that? How did you decide to, to get into it? Are you a comedian yourself? I'm sure a little bit, but how, how did you decide to start it? <laughs> no, I'm just a, a self-proclaimed funny person yeah. <laughs> um, who has an appreciation for comedy. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it's been a vision of mine for like 15 years. I wanted to do something global and I've always been in the digital space and I really didn't know what that was going to look like right and and mm -hmm. how it was going to do good in the world and and so I united with my two best friends uh, Zoe Friedman her dad is who created the Hollywood improv um, and the improv chain and she started at Letterman like she booked Eddie Izzard before Eddie Izzard was Eddie Izzard and oh wow look and you know, gave a lot of people their first shots, and then she spent 10 years at Comedy Central, shaping, you know, in development and current programming. And then um, my other best friend, Jody Lieberman, uh, programmed the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. So she really had a global um, understanding of venues and talent. So, and I'm the digital girl. So the three right. of came together and you know, I proposed this question like how do we make a difference in the world leveraging mm -hmm. what we love and we are all so positively affected by comedy not only is it our livelihood how you know how we make money we're lucky right. enough to make money doing it but that it also I think it elevates our well-being and our health and so you know there are studies out there that say Laughter, you know, elevates the vibration of the planet and help and can create good health, mm -hmm. good well-being, and and so we tossed it around and and thought about it and tried out different formats and and that's how we came up with this twenty-four hour live streamed, you know, globally uniting all the platforms together so everyone can share their talents and self-expressions yeah. and have some laughs while doing good in the world. <laughs> yeah, and so how many comics is it for the 24 hours? Well, I mean, a lot. A so, lot. It, so we're going to be in Australia, London, New York, and L.A. Those are the hubs. And okay. that's where uh, you can go to a venue and watch the live stream show. So there's about seven stand-ups in each venue. And right. then... We are partnered with What's Trending. Do you know What's Trending? Yes. Uh -huh. So out we of there, tell our audience a little. Oh, too. so What's, what's <laughs> Trending is a is a is a daily uh, show on What's Trending <laughs> um, yeah. on the internet and and just in timely and topical you know news. So they have this gorgeous studio in Hollywood that they. Um, live stream out of every day and so we'll live stream for 24 hours out of that that studio in Hollywood and okay. so we'll have 
you know, stars from Funny or Die, premiering content, and J.B. Smoove, and Dane Cook, and so it, it really runs the gamut of, uh, you know, the traditional talent, and then Smosh, we're going to give an hour to, and they're oh, the number great. one YouTubers, and so, it, you know, it's really like bringing everybody's own brand of, of ha hilariosity to the table. Got it. So now I have to ask, only because there are comedians in the audience, if they wanted to get on the 24-hour telecast of sorts and be a performer, is do you, is there auditions or how do they, how could they get involved? There's a lot of ways to get involved. They can, you know, we're working with rooftop comedy as well and mm -hmm. so we'll be doing some outreach where everybody can participate. The idea is that we're uniting everyone. So, you know, whether it's putting a funny video together with whatever the challenge is, it could be holding a viewing party or event, you know, at another comedy club. One thing we okay. found in year one, we did this show in New York, and then after the, the comedy show was done, we had like Tom Papa and Colin Quinn and um, a whole slew of really funny folks, and then the mm -hmm. audience wanted to stay and watch the Chicago show and the LA oh, show. Wow. So, so, kind of what got birthed out of that was these viewing parties, where you know, no matter where you're at, you can can Skype in to the conversation. You can be part of it, and people can flip in between uh, each of the acts. Nice. Okay. Well, so I'm sure we'll have to tune in. You said you're, the next one is in the fall. That's when the next one's probably going to be happening? Right. Either October or November. We're just honing in on the date right now. Got it. Okay. So let's shift to the law a little bit. Now, you were talking about, so how is, how is this corporate entity set up now, and then how are you shifting it? And what was sort of the impetus for doing that? So we set this up as an LLC. Mm -hmm. We have three partners who are the um, officers of the, you know, uh, LLC. And um, then as this has evolved, because we are a for-profit company, so we're not in uh, whatever, LOCC, one, three, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are a for-profit company, but since we have this component, that is part of our mission statement that we give uh, half of our profits to charities. Mm -hmm. um, this year, our, our charity partner is Malaria No More, which is Peter Chernin from Fox's uh, really battle cry. And the cool okay. thing about Malaria No More is they are eradicating malaria from the planet by 2015. Wow. So, is there a lot of malaria around? Is that bad I said that? <laughs> like, is there, are there crazy cases of it? It's it's really you know centralized in Africa. I mean that's okay. where it's it's at, and and okay. they have literally um, reduced the malaria deaths by fifty percent in the time wow. that they've been attacking it. So I mean it's really an a, obtainable uh, result, and that's okay. what we're on. so so um, you know making our leap into this world of social enterprise. Uh, you know we're navigating it. There's a lot of excitement around it, and and what's kind of circled and bubbled up was mm -hmm. this B Corp. Um, okay. And so what what B Corp is, and trust me, I'm, I'm always fine. So there's, <laughs> so there's layers to this. And right. if you're interested in it, you should reach out to me. I'm happy to connect to the actual B Corp folks. Okay. Um, but, but they have a website online. And it's really a certification of companies who say they are doing good in the world as if that is their mission statement as part of their company offering whether it's being green um, whether it's you know emission you know chemical emissions whether it's um, recycling or in our case it's giving to charity as part mm -hmm. of our as part of our mandate so um, w you go through a, a pretty rigorous certification process which okay. is um, it's intense. <laughs> I mean, yes. it's, it's a long process. But uh -huh. the the kind of other side of it is that then when people see that you are B certified company, they can rest assured that you are what you're putting out in the world. Right. Uh, what they were finding is that you know people or or companies, big corporations, little corporations would say they're green, but yet we're emitting X, Y, and Z. Right, um, right. Or said that they were contributing to uh, this great foundation when in reality, 
if you look at they're a, a hundred billion dollar company and they're giving you know uh, ten thousand dollars doesn't make them a master contributor to you know shifting that cause right right now and I think that's great because there's a lot of companies now that are doing good things and want to be able to really prove that they are doing that so yeah. this is a really great legal way to, to make that sort of officially happen exactly and I'm sure um, throughout the process of this B Corp evolving there will be value adds to the companies that go through the certification process right now it's mm -hmm. basically a stamp of a, of approval right so that whether you're um, like in our case like if we have advertisers coming aboard because mm -hmm. we're not a nonprofit they that they're still getting the value through that got it great so that's a good thing everyone check out B Corps um, you know if you want to get certified now because I do call you the expert of all things digital just really quick content creators that are putting stuff online every day all day long have there been any legal challenges or advice that you've seen that you would you would think people should watch out for as they're creating content and posting it everywhere these days well I think there's a couple things one is uh, I think immediately you should own your brand online so you know whenever there's a new platform that comes out your personal brand or your Uh oh, connection issue. <laughs> oh no, we're having a connection issue. Maybe she'll come back. There you oh, are. You were frozen. Yeah, okay, you're back. You're back. <laughs> I, I was talking away. I don't okay. know if we were still on it, but. Yeah, I no, I think it went off for a second. But so you were saying. So I was just saying, one, like, own your brand online, right? Mm -hmm. So any new platform comes out, make sure your personal like Amber J. Lawson, I get across all the platforms, okay. but also any IP, like Comedy Gives Back, or if you have a, a web show, or what have you. That being said, um, I always think it's good to, to register with the WGA. Any ideas you have, that's always a good um, uh, barrier, as well as any content you use. I mean, it's not as much of the Wild Wild West anymore, right? right. There have been a lot of um, regulations put in place in order to preserve people's copyrights to their IP and right, so right. you want to know that you have the use of whatever you're creating or you're creating something wholly and original so that you're protected as well um, yeah uh, cool. it, it, so go ahead. Oh, no, good. <laughs> it's the joy of the Google Hangout. Everyone can talk at the same time. So last but not least, I have to ask, who is your favorite hip-hop artist? My favorite hip-hop artist is Macklemore. Because I'm, I'm popping tags. <laughs> Everyone's likes thrift shop, right? I love that song. But, I mean, I don't know how deep everyone's gone into Macklemore, but he, he's got some deep, deep uh, songs. Him, oh. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, they they put some magical lyrics together, and uh, yeah, super deep. Okay, well we'll Talking check it out. Well, thank you. Not the deepest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you, Amber. Um, that is it for now. Always remember to honor your power and stay tuned for the next video posting.